Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie and I'm here at Dollar Tree. This is going to be a quick shop with me. Now what quick means, I don't know. I just know I got a busy schedule with lots of things that need to be accomplished today, but we will see how this goes. Okay, come shop with me. My favorite place. This is the one that opens at eight o'clock. It's one of the early opening Dollar Trees, which is why I like to come here. It's a little bit before, a few minutes before nine, fall floral, pool noodles for doing your DIYs, and we're starting to get the Thanksgiving aluminum pans out, so be aware. Okay, these are the solar steak lights. Urban Barrel Pumpkin. Oh, that smells so good. Golden Apple Cider. Pear Nutmeg. And Gingerbread Frosting. I got one of each of these the last time. They all smell amazing. And then we have more of the Fun Pumpkin Decor. These are so cute. I don't have any of these right here, but I don't need any. <laughs> they feel great. So the burlap pumpkins, mixed in with some of those. The velvet pumpkins. And these are the natural pumpkin picks. cute fun signs anybody else digging the uh, vintage vibes a lot of these signs are given off mm -hmm. that one. if Halloween is your thing they got what you need here see this one a nice little vibe uh, vintage vibe to it that one there I love it. I love those vintage images that look like they're from the 50s or 60s. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't think I've seen these coffin-shaped signs before. Like I said, if Halloween is your thing, they have all the things. The fangs all here. That's kind of cute and whimsical. So, yeah. Look at these vintage fellas. I love it. Just me? Anybody else? <laughs> oh no, this is darling. I don't think I've seen these felt bags before. Those are cute. That is definitely adorable. And it's good size too. All right. I wasn't planning to buy anything, but we all know who that goes. And then there's the mummy one. And then there's a little, you know what? I think I like the black cat better. And notice that it's a single strap. It's not a double strap. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think I'll go with the kitty. But they're both, they're all three adorable. And then I'm assuming these are glow in the dark and those. There's always a, uh, yep, yeah, this is a glow in the dark. These are all the fun things, and not just for Halloween. You can use these as theater props. There's black and gray. Although I can tell you there doesn't look to be very much of a difference. But you can see the gray one is lighter. And 
than all your little glittery, tinsely things. I'm trying not to miss stuff. I did finally get my other one edited. See, look at all these vintage vibes and these, these little things here. This is a fun little tabletop. This part sticks out. Yeah, all this is very vintage looking to me. Hello pumpkin, trick or treat. See, some of these are fun. Hey boo. <laughs> and then we have the gnomes dressed in costume, which I think is darling. What's this? Oh, this is a black velvet skull. I haven't seen the velvet ones yet. And they apparently have green. And once again, theater stuff, theater people can find great things here. And then we get into just regular fall. Those are garlands. Pumpkin patch, farm fresh pumpkin patch. The fall breeze and autumn leaves and the welcome. I think I like that one the best. And it is the season to be thankful. Autumn. Where's the football stuff? Oh, it's down there. I love that they're coming out with a bunch of football things. These signs, yard stakes, all look new to me this year. And then they do have taper candles. Yellow, teal, and orange. Nice for a beautiful table setting. Okay. And then we've seen all these. There's the uh, pumpkin wreath forms. I'm not much of a wreath maker with these things, but I would love to see or hear about what you guys do with these. Grateful, thankful harvest. Very nice. The picks. And you get more signage with the fall in love. Harvest blessings. Fall, sweet fall. Give thanks. Those are all new. And then I've seen far more football signs, but they do have this and this one. I may get some of those for my cousin because he's so excited. Football season is starting, which is fantastic. So let's come over on this side. This is what I saw the other day. I picked up this one. I've had that one before, and I'm glad this is like the fifth or sixth year they've had these figures. There's Count Dracula, Frankenstein, and then a skull. They've also had the ghost, which I'm not seeing. And then these are the, the plates. Kitty cat, the mummy. They each have a little feature, the pumpkin that sticks out. And then the purple would be a witch. I haven't seen these before. I saw this one, which has a little piece of his wrappings coming off. This is that Edgar Allan Poe kind of vibe. 16 plates, they have everything that goes with it. These are treat buckets. Once again, the Edgar Allan Poe vibes. So, I mean, you can really do up a, an adult party if you want to, if that's your thing. Coffin containers, and then these are the plastic zombie repellent, bone dust, which is brew. And then these are um, plastic also, Hocus Pocus. You could do a Hocus Pocus viewing party. Now I do like that movie, that's funny. But, um, and get a bunch of these for everybody who's coming. And do a viewing party for them and fill that with some treats and you know, have the popcorn and all that stuff, so. Very nice. Now these felt shapes I haven't seen before. There's 12 here. There's a black cat shape, a ghost shape, and a pumpkin shape. And you could just embellish that with whatever you want to make your own little fun activity. That's new to me. I've never seen that. And this end cap here has these fun pumpkin containers that you could fill with candy. The orange with clear. 
these tea lights. I've never seen these before. It, you see the tea light down there, but there's the pumpkin protruding from the top. Pumpkin or the leaves. These are new. I've never seen these. And are they fragranced? I don't know. These are nice. These are in the wrong place. They're supposed to be over there. Oh, there's a football. Okay, here we go. All right, there, toy section, which you know I always come to, looks a little picked over, which tells me they're probably getting ready to bring out the stuff for Christmas. But there's still quite a few Barbie brands accessory packs that you can get to these are the little pets, the shoe packs baby dolls stampers plushies these jewelry activities those are the stampers. But this, these are cute. These are necklaces and these are bracelets. And there is a Peppa Pig. Um, is this the net? No. Again, these look to all be the stampers. So here is, yeah, I'm going to be doing a, a DIY video showing you how I've turned these backdrops into a Barbie house. You have four of them. Here's the front door office area. The bedroom, the living room, and there's one more, the kitchen, which I'm not seeing there, but I have them all at my house, so look for those and pick them up. Okay, I'm coming down the frame and base and ribbon aisle. These magnets, these are cute, a place to put the Wi-Fi password for your guests. I've never seen this before. I've always seen the signs. Yikes. Okay, and then we have these. I love these. God is in control. Trust in the Lord. Be strong and courageous. Simply blessed. Do not fear, for I'm with you. All of these are great reminders. These wallpaper sheets, and even these up here, are great for the Barbie house um, that I'm going to be making. You need foam core boards, you need the, <clears throat> the Barbie um, backdrops, and look at these as possible floor tiles. I've used this one in one house, and I think this in another, but get, what you're, get what's available for the floor design that you want in your Barbie house, and these as well. These are a little big, but they can be used. I've used that as a wallpaper. You know, it's just really, it's kind of cute when you get creative for that. <laughs> and then here's the vinyl for the Cricut machines. They're, pl they're plenty stocked. They also have leather and stuff. I don't see any here, but it's, it's a nice option. Overlook the stickers which now have the rub on transfers. These are great, they can be used in planners as well as on different um, things. Look at all this! I wish these weren't so close together, you could cut them apart much easier. And then there's the cutouts, and then there's the clear stamps. I got all of those for my daughter. And Gave them to her, so she's doing some stamping. here stencils, which is nice. So if you do paper crafting or any of the other things, I've seen these used when doing Barbie DIYs on the walls and stuff. So I really draw inspiration from a lot of people, you know, that I watch and follow on YouTube. See, some of these could be wall decor in the Barbie house. 
right? And look at this. Look at these stickers. Oh, I'm going to have to get me some of these. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> Now we're in the candle section. We saw those special fall fragrances up front. I'm looking to see if they have them available like this. And I'm not seeing them yet. These are the room mists, apple cinnamon, which smells amazing. I got one and sprayed some this morning. It smells fantastic. Vanilla, uh, which fragrance is this? It doesn't say. Energy, and this is the sun ripened berry. So, you can find some things. And those, they're not real super heavy. It's very nice and light. Mineral Mist, Healing Stone, Be Happy. Now these wax melts. Let me see what this smells like. Be Happy. That has a floral, and I'm trying to place the smell of that floral. Tiki Colada and Turquoise Tides. Let's smell that. Oh, okay, I did not like that one bit. Ugh, I don't know what that fragrance is, but it was not pleasant to me. Cinemagic and Mistletoe. These must be from Christmas last year. I'm not a fan of that either. I don't know if they're just old. Coconut Eggnog and Holly Jolly Berry. Let's see what we got here. Okay, those smell good, but they're on the verge of smelling like crayons. So just be aware of that. I would recommend Laugh a Lot. Let's see. Oh, that one was pretty good. That had a, a bit of a floral, fruity smell. So that one wasn't too bad. Yeah, that mistletoe, I don't know what they put in that, but it was not nice. <laughs> and smell them because once things go wrong with them, you know, once they get old, it, the smell just disappears and they smell like crayons. So that's note to self. Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen this. Helping them to prep for tests. Wow. Okay, this is new. All right, Dollar Tree, helping our kids. These are things we can do to, oh, same thing. I just saw. Help them to be more comfortable with the testing in an environment. You've already taken them through the timing of the test so that they know how to do it, you know, without it being a big heartache for them. Here's the flashcards. I was just going through flashcards with my granddaughter this weekend, and she really enjoyed it. Um, these are cute. Pete the cat, so if they like that, there's letters and words. We did the Hello Kitty match game, which is really fun. Subtraction, addition, colors and shapes, and you've got Encanto, and, uh, or Encanto, however you want to say it. Uh, for addition and the Disney Princess for subtraction. You have Disney Princess addition, multiplication, uh, poo uh, match, go together, colors and shapes, My Little Pony, alphabet, numbers and counting. I mean, you can find what you want that's going to make it engaging for your child. Or you can just do the basic. I have the Barbie ones. I have a lot of these. The basic flashcards with no characters on them. And then these are the Fisher Price learning cards. Compare and contrast numbers and counting colors and shapes. They have for literally every kind of character, so that's nice to know. Inflatable globe and all other kinds of these are cute for paper crafting too, not just for classrooms. Planets. And homeschool moms, I know this makes it super easy for you and teachers who want to just add to their classroom. So I'm so glad they have so many options. You know, when my girl starts reading, my, this Gigi is going to have all of these at her house to practice with. <laughs> all right, I'm 
coming into the book section and I love that they always get so many kinds of uh, stories. I've never heard of this author, but that seems interesting. Okay. Bodies of Water, London is the best city in America. Queen Bee, look at this. This is a cute little book for tweens. They seem to have a lot of them. So there's that. <laughs> and then we have journals and Bibles, New Testaments. Great to always carry one around with you. Oh, cute word searches for friends. Word finds. Organizing caddies and book book bins. It's nice to see that. Now, story-wise, I'm not seeing what's this. Okay, this is about Riverdale. I didn't watch that, but I know that's about the Archie comics. I have no idea how. I heard it's very adult, so I didn't watch it for that purpose. But I could give it a look. Right, this is. I'm not seeing any new stories here. Okay. This is jokes and riddles. Bible sticker book. Once again, I would love to see, see this is number four. I've got all these. I think I'm missing the number one for Frozen, the number one issue for Frozen. But other than that, I think I've got all of them. I'm waiting for number six to come out. I've got five. These Barbie coloring posters. Some of them brand new, I'm donating them. today. Essie nail polish. I haven't seen a color that I like yet, but you know. Looking to see if I see anything new. This is not new, but it doesn't belong there. I've been using this blush and I actually quite like it. Where does it go? This. Strengthen and maintain healthy nails and cuticles. Okay. Oh, cuticle oil pin in mango. I'm going to get it. I'm going to try it. Oh, 
What is this? Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Look at that palette. And this is flower brand. Are these all the same? I'm getting it. I know, like I need more eyeshadow. Let me see if there are different other palettes here. See, you never know what. That is a beautiful palette, perfect for the fall. Let me see. There's some pretty ones up there by LA Colors, but I'm not gonna. Okay. Nail files. Makeup remover towels. Put your finger inside that. Okay. I'm getting it. Scotchy brand. They don't have to be Scotchy brand, but it's nice when you find the, the name brands because you know you're getting quality. Oops, I'll pick that up. try this. I recently picked up some of these to have on hand battery operated wall lights. These or even these puck lights for when the power goes out. We're in hurricane season here and we had a power outage for a couple of hours the other day and that would have been helpful because it happened at zero dark 30. Remember when I was doing my devotion outside? Yeah, then that would have been helpful to have that. So I picked up a few just to have. And these are fun. Projector lights. There's the picture that projects on the ceiling. Oh. They, they do have them for dinosaurs, but I always thought that would be a little scary my granddaughter so I didn't pick those up for her but I think I am going to pick up this one that's adorable okay all right that'll be it I've got other things I gotta get done today so I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough please comment below like subscribe share whatever it is you want to do it helps the channel and let me know what you're finding at your Dollar Trees and what you've added to your wish list God bless you bye until next time